Hi everyone, and welcome back to another match day vlog. It's a Monday. I hate the games on Monday, but it looks like this round and also next round we have to go. I am in the city of Krakow. Uh, the police is out in force because today is going to be a spicy game. It's between Krakowia and Vizav Buc. And in case you have been living in a cave, Vizav are friends with Vizav Krakow, the arch rivals and also Rukhoju. So at the moment with Viswa in the second league, this is the closest we can get to the Holy War. Both teams started the season well uh, with a win and a draw. So today we'll possibly find out who's going to get the first loss. I think it will be a very close match. But as a Dutchman, I'm very interested in seeing Big Mac in action. Well, yeah, it's an hour till kickoff. Uh, let's see if we can get inside the shop, see the shirts. Otherwise, we'll see each other inside. I got to say, I like the black one. It's interesting. All right, let's get inside. Wow. This is It looks like we have a good one here. 18 zlotys. Fresh from the girl. I'm giving that an eight and a half out of 10. And it's because of the fact that it's from the girl, because normally they, do it like in the catering boxes. Little show of force, I think.
was that unfortunately you probably missed it on the tv stream uh but some guys from Widzew climbed on the roof put like a big banner over the name Krakowia and immediately the guys from Krakowia and probably Poznan and T uh, they ran straight away climbed over the fences to sector F uh, to get access to the roof and ran all the way over there to take away the banner so there was also a fire on the roof now I don't know if you can call this a holy war but it was close to it and it get, things get crazy. For the match itself, uh, the first 15 minutes were very fun to watch. Both sides went with a very high press in the first 15 minutes, which meant defensive mistakes. And Kalman took advantage of that in like the second minute. Got the ball, cut inside, beat his defender and then placed it in the far post. He's big and strong, but he's also very technical and fast. And after the 15 16th minute, Krakowia stopped with the high press, and that was immediately where Wiedzew scored. It was a cross into the box, Rodic headed it down towards the outside of the box, and Lukowski just took it on the volley and beat the goalkeeper. Probably his view was blocked by all the defenders in front of him. But then the match settled down. Um, I did find that Krakowia was giving a lot of space away. Uh, Wiedzew was very able to find a pass or like run with the ball. And yeah, it was kind of. Uh, coming the goals but I have to say it was a very nice place shot from front Alvarez from outside of the box from there on it went from bad to worse for Krakowia uh, the crosses didn't reach anyone in the box and then from a defensive mistake uh, Widzew was on the counter found Rodic in the in the box and he could just simply shoot the home uh, I had to take Florianska getting bothered every five minutes where was I? Uh, so yeah, the quality in the second half dropped very much, but I would still say Vitzev was deserved the winner. Uh, they just looked better. Waiting for the train back to Katowice. That was it for round three this weekend. Uh, during the week we'll be back on Wednesday uh, because it's the preliminary rounds of the Polish Cup. And you know, I like to follow it from the beginning all the way to the final in Warsaw. Thanks for joining me this weekend. Uh, please like and subscribe. You know what to do. And we'll see each other during the week. Anyways, bye-bye.